time again for our annual employee appraisals. Uh, this year we're going to start out with Cowberry the Cat. Uh, Cowboy is uh, being rated as meets expectations and uh, as proficient. Uh, he spends most of his day sleeping on my desk. Um, we have seen some weight gain this year. It's been a continuous problem for Cowberry since pretty much birth. Uh, but when he's on his wet food, he does lose some weight. So Cowberry, uh, keep up the good work uh, and uh, we'll chat with you during your mid-year. So our next performance appraisal this year is going to be Knut the dog. Uh, Canute has actually been on a performance improvement plan uh, for this past year, so he's been on a PIP. Uh, we had a number of issues with Canute's overall performance and behavior, primarily chewing on the baseboards around uh, the living room floor, as well as chewing on some windowsills. Uh, Canute also has done a lot of jailbreaks out the front door by bulldozing uh, people through. Uh, we have seen some uh, improvements this year, a little bit less destruction. Um, I think we're gonna, we're almost ready to get him out of the performance improvement plan, although he did uh, nearly break Jessica's nose this year while he was trying to run away from her after breaking out. So, um, Knut, uh, you would have been a meets expectations. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this morning you did uh, steal some peanut butter and destroy uh, that. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and call you as um, needs improvements, um, uh, but you are proficient. So uh, I think uh, by your mid-year, you might be able to get off that performance improvement plan. So, uh, you know, keep trying, bud. I know it's tough, but you're getting older, so. We're going to move over to Izzy. Uh, it, this is Izzy's first performance review. Uh, she came to us in uh, late February. So Izzy has been an exceptional addition to the family. Uh, she would have been an exceeds expectation, and um, uh, but unfortunately she has a problem, a little problem where she shreds toilet paper when nobody uh, is around. So because of her toilet paper shredding issues and the fact that she's so new, um, she's gonna be uh, as a meets expectations and as proficient. So. Uh, Izzy, keep up the good uh, work. We're hoping by your mid-year you can be uh, exceeds expectations and highly proficient. Okay, and to round out the last of our canine um, employees, this is Goose the dog. Uh, Goose, at the age of eight, um, really doesn't care about performance reviews. I could give her a does not fully meet and needs improvement, or I could give her role model and highly proficient, and it will have absolutely no impact on what she does, thinks, or says. So we're just going to call you as proficient and meets expectations. Um, a couple things to note, uh, your indoor bathroom usage uh, during inclement weather has increased this year, although the weather hasn't really changed, so you're going outside less and less, um, which is a little bit of a problem. Again, I don't think you care one bit, so there really is no point in trying to put you on a performance improvement plan. So this year, um, I guess, keep up the mediocre work, and uh, we'll catch up with you during the mid-years. All right, Butters, it's time for your uh, performance appraisal there. I'm not sure why you're walking away from this one, probably because it's not great news. Um, you know, I think you've really taken the biggest uh, decline in your overall ratings. Last year, you were highly proficient and you exceeded my expectations. Uh, this year, uh, we are uh, needs improvement. Yeah, um, you know, I think the, the biggest issue is that your job here is to be outside, uh, killing mice and keeping the rodents at bay, protecting the uh, food for the outdoor animals. And unfortunately, we have a mouse problem and you're just not get, taking care of things. So uh, we lost Motorcycle Santa and our inflatable farm scene this year because of uh, mouse damage. And I'm just really disappointed in how you've uh, performed this year. Uh, I think we're gonna have to put you on a performance improvement plan. 
uh, and see if we can increase uh, your uh, rodent uh, kills. Uh, but yeah, this is it's not been a good year for you and uh, I need to let you know that you are on notice. All right, chicken, it's time for your annual review. Um, this year, I'm gonna give you a meets expectations and proficient. Uh, a couple things here. First of all, I debated whether to even give you a review because that would be acknowledging that I accept you as part of this family, not just as Jessica's parrot, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Uh, you've done a great job learning some new skills this year. Uh, we're working on the baby shark whistle, which you're getting down. You've got the hunger. Hunger Games whistle down pretty well and uh, overall you're a rather entertaining pet. Uh, you do turn into an angry pumpkin after 6 p.m. which is why you're not uh, exceeding expectations and you have drawn blood from the children. So uh, you know I think if you could work on slowing down with your biting of people and learn some more songs you are on track for a uh, exceeds and highly proficient okay. So, uh, and you also have a fantastically uh, beautiful butt, uh, peach colored feathers, which uh, really helps you a lot, I think. All right, chickens, it's time for your annual uh, appraisal. Um, I'm gonna give you as a flock, uh, as exceeds and highly proficient. Uh, you know, we went from uh, baby chicks just in this uh, past March and April to full egg laying hens uh, by July. Uh, some of you are uh, really pulling up the averages and some of you guys are kind of drawing it down. I think you guys really could have been role model uh, material were it not for a number of you and you know who you are uh, who are not laying as frequently as you can. On the other hand, we've got Egg Peralta here and we've got uh, Chicken Donald Trump right there uh, who lay almost every single day and lay uh, some pretty nice green eggs. The black copper morans lay uh, pretty frequently as well and they lay a nice dark brown colored egg. Um, some uh, issues that we have are with the, uh, I call them the Sicilian Mafia. Uh, these ladies lay a smaller egg uh, and they're also kind of feral. So uh, you guys brought things down um, a little bit. So I think uh, everybody owes the group rating to the Wilco mix and match and the black copper Moran. So uh, ladies, keep up the good work. We appreciate you pooping breakfasts for us every morning and uh, we'll catch up with you during the mid years. All right, Applesauce, it's time for your mid-year review. Um, I think we're gonna go with uh, exceeds expectation and uh, highly proficient. Uh, you know, you're definitely getting up there in age. You know, you're pushing 24 years old, uh, yet you continue to allow small children to ride on your back. The kids can ride you with just a halter uh, bareback. So I think for a pony your age, you uh, do an exceptional job uh, with maintaining a positive attitude and just uh, and working hard. I know days like this are not fun when it's a little bit chilly out, uh, but uh, yeah, you're doing a great job and we just hope that you keep up the good work. So um, you really would have been a role model and had you not chosen to break out out of your paddock last week and run to the far pasture so that that brought you down a little bit so maybe let's work on some of those behavioral issues maybe not push and kick on the fence as much um, and we can get you all the way to uh, the top so uh, that's uh, your rating for uh, this year good job applesauce Hey Dixie, it's time for your annual performance review. Uh, much like Goose, I don't think you particularly care either way about what your rating is, but I'm gonna give it to you anyways. Uh, and that is gonna be that you meet expectations and that you are proficient. Uh, basically your job here is to eat grass and poop out uh, compost for us. Uh, and you do that uh, well, uh, you create a good volume of things. Uh, unfortunately, you do uh, go to the bathroom in your shed. Uh, which is really what's keeping you from being, uh, you know, an exceptional performer. Um, and you're a little bit skittish on us, so um, that's why uh, you're just going to be, uh, you know, meets expectations and proficient. Uh, now, uh, Ferdinand, on the other hand, uh, you uh, are going to be placed on a PIP this year, a performance improvement plan. Uh, you are 
you do not fully meet our expectations and you do need some improvement. And let's talk about some of the things that, uh, that we've had to deal with this year with you. Uh, I think we can all remember the root beer incident when uh, Henry was in your paddock and you chased him uh, to the point that uh, he dropped his root beer so that he could climb the fence to uh, get away from you. Uh, that was not a, a great moment for you. Uh, we've also had a number of instances where you've broken through the electric fence so that you could hang out with Applesauce the Pony and you've uh, stolen some of her food. So uh, again, those aren't really uh, shining moments for you. Uh, I think the weights have been an issue this year as well. Uh, you're getting a little thick. We've talked to you about trying to make better choices about what you're eating. Um, yet whenever we bring marshmallows over, you do continue to eat them like, uh, like nobody's business. So, uh, you know, I have high hopes for you, Ferd, that as we move into uh, 2021, we'll see some uh, behavioral improvements uh, but for right now, I really need to see uh, you uh, working hard just to maintain just uh, the minimum standards because right now you're just not there, bud.